guys, it's Kendra from Crafty Kendra, and today I'm going to show you how to make this card. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is bring in our card base, which is Blushing Bride, and it measures 5.5 by 3.5 inches. And we're going to bring in some stamps from the With All My Heart stamp set. And I have the clear mount version. <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to stamp the largest flower in Blushing Bride, just like the cardstock. And we're just going to randomly stamp it. Alright. The next stamp we're going to bring in. <clears throat> is the second largest flower which looks like that and we're going to stamp it in perfect plum and we're going to randomly stamp it as well like that. The last stamp we're going to bring in is the little itty bitty flower from that stamp set. And we're going to go ahead and fill in in between those large stamps with this little one. And we're going to use soft suede for the ink. Just like that. So our <clears throat> card base has a really nice design going on. Next, I've already gone ahead and taken my fancy flower punch and I've punched out three flowers. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just gonna take it and we're just gonna crumple each of the flowers up. And then flatten them out. Taking our blushing brighting pad, we're just going to press down on them a few times just to make the crinkles really show up. Okay, here's the last one. Next we're going to bring in a scrap piece of very vanilla and that same middle sized flower stamp along with the perfect plum ink pad. We're going to go ahead and ink it up and we're going to stamp it towards the edge of the paper. We're going to bring in our three quarter inch circle punch. Centering that stamp Inside the punch, we're just going to punch it out. <clears throat> then we're just going to sponge the edges with our sponge dauber in the perfect plum ink. Then I'm going to bring in my matte pack, the hard surface, and then the foam, along with a silver brad and my paper piercer. <clears throat> We're just going to take our three flowers and line them up, and you can line them up straight on top of each other. I'm going to take and center that little piece that we just punched out with a circle punch to the center of the flower poke a hole into that little dot that is the center of that punched out circle. 
keeping them down, we're going to press our silver bread through. Then lifting up our flowers, we're going to go ahead and open up the bread. And now that we've done that, we can go ahead and adjust our flowers so that it opens up how we want. And you can crinkle it again to help give them more dimension. Now we're going to bring in a two and a half inch strip of pear pizzazz poly stitched ribbon and our snail runner. <clears throat> going to run a little strip on one side of the ribbon, bring them together to make a loop. And by doing that, we're going to get our little leaf fur flower. Going to attach two glue dots towards the end of this piece of ribbon. <clears throat> and then you want to look at your flower um, on the front and position your leaf behind it so you have as much of it showing as you want. Then we're going to set that aside. Going to bring in a three inch by two and a half inch piece of soft suede. And we're going to distress all the edges with our cutter kit. Remember to start in the center of your page and work towards the corner, not away, or else you'll rip up your corners. All right. Peel off some of the extra paper that's just laying there. I'm going to bring in a piece of perfect plum. And this piece originally measured uh, 3 quarters inch by 3 inches, but I punched it with the scallop edge border punch. And what we're going to do is we're going to attach some snail to one of the 3 inch sides of our soft suede. Then give it a border of that scalloped edge. Flipping it over, we're going to add some more snail to the back. This time the whole back. Bring back in our card base and center it onto the left side of our card base. With the opening towards the bottom. Now bringing in a piece of typing paper, or a printer paper, whatever you call it. You're going to punch out a... punch of our decorative label punch and attach some snail to the back of it and then you're going to center it towards the right of that piece of soft suede making sure you don't go too high because next you're going to bring that punch that de uh, decorative label punch back in and line it up with the label you just stuck on there and punch it out. That way you get your punch exactly where you want it. No guessing. I'm going to bring back in the sponge stopper and sponge it. What we're doing is we're sponging the inside of that little punch out. Once again, we're going to take our card base and set it aside. Bring back in that scrap piece of very vanilla again. And the thank you stamp from the With All My Heart stamp set. This time we're going to go ahead and use our Stampin' Write markers. I'm going to take the soft suede marker and color in the words thank you. And then using our perfect film marker, we're going to color in this little detailed stamp at the bottom.
going to stamp it not too far up because once again we're going to come in and center it with our punch. And punch it out. We're going to sponge the edges with our perfect plum. Turn it over and attach some snail. This time we're going to put the snail across the whole back. Turn it back in our card base and with the card base closed, you're going to just line up this cutout inside the cutout on your card base and then holding your fingers on that greeting, you're going to open the card and that way you're going to have your greeting show on the outside, but it's really going to be on the inside of the card. And you're going to bring back in that flower that we worked on, add in some more glue dots to the back of it, you're going to place it on soft suede square where you want it and press down and that finishes off your card. I hope you guys enjoyed and that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks.